The season may be over, but let's remember all the pro football lore that remains. Interesting nicknames like Ed Too Tall Jones, the Vikings purple people eaters, and the decimating front line of the LA Rams fearsome forces. The ball itself has a nickname that may have you wondering why it's sometimes known as a pigskin, which is an oddly legit question since footballs are made with cowhide, not a pig's skin. For some insight, let's go to the Wilson Sporting Goods football plant in Ada, Ohio, where employees have been creating the official Super Bowl ball since Super Bowl I in 1967. You have to go way back to the 1860s when it's possible that footballs were made from the tanned hide of a pig. Back then, though, it was the pig's bladder that helped to inflate the football, but pig skin is a catchier name than pig bladder, so that may have stuck. The shape of the inflated pig bladder apparently influenced the shape of the football, even though the balls are made from cowhide and now with a synthetic bladder. The developers of the game stuck with the prolate spheroid shape that's easier to pass than a round ball. That Wilson factory in Ohio made 228 pigskins for last Sunday's Super Bowl. I also have a little nugget to provide some context and depth to the story. They make six footballs strictly for just kicking for the Super Bowl. So the ball that they kick field goals with is not the ball that the regular guys play with. They make six special balls for that. So there you go. If you have a Why Guy question, reach me at my Facebook page, Walt Gray News. You can watch more Why Guy stories at abc10.com slash whyguy.